bitch. What the fuck are you sorry for before I blast your whole face off? I'm sorry for cheating. Why did you do Please For what? Please you. you said you're pregnant. Is this bitch. what you want your baby to be? Are you about? serious, bitch? Please. Bitch, I'll fuck you up out here. Get the fuck. Call an Uber now. Okay, I'll leave. I'll and leave. don't ever talk to him again. Okay. I swear to God. Okay. I'll fucking kill you out okay. here, bitch. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yes. Because you thought that it was okay, didn't you? Please. You thought that it was okay. Please. You bitch. Please. Where have you been here? It hasn't been that long. I just moved. How do you move in? Please. I will leave right now. I'm calling. Are you going to keep fucking with him? No. Do you learn your lesson? I'm calling an Uber. I'll break your nose next yes. and shoot your face off. Okay. Tell me that. Call him. No, call Darius. I'm calling an Uber. Call Darius. I'm calling an Uber. Call Darius. I'm calling an Uber. And call Darius now. And tell him that you're not fucking with him no more. <sighs> call Darius now. Okay. Okay. Call Darius. I'm calling Darius. Bitch, because who the fuck do you think you are trying to swing on me in my fucking house? I'm calling Darius right now. You better be glad I didn't shoot your ass. And I wish you would call the fucking police because you're on my fucking property, I bitch. Calling the police. I, I don't give a fuck. Uber. You scary ass bitch. You thought to bitch. You and then you want to disrespect me on fucking Facebook? I'm calling him and I'm telling him it's over. I'm sorry, the person you are trying to reach. You better leave a voicemail. You better leave a motherfucking I'm voicemail. I'm leaving a voicemail. Bye. Call it. Do you even have his other number? No. Why did you come back over here, JL, and you know that he's married? Why are you fucking with a married man? Why are you fucking with a married man? I'm doing what you asked me to do. I'm calling him. I'm Why are you? No, over. answer me. I'm Why are you fucking with somebody's husband? Hmm? told me it was over well, why didn't you ask me bitch i didn't i'm pregnant i didn't have your number i'm pregnant we're not friends you are real ass if you a real ass bitch you're not gonna sit here and listen to what he's saying you know darius be lying he's been lying since you was with him okay. now look at you okay i'm calling him all lumped up bitch i'm calling him i'm sorry the look he won't even okay. now look at you okay i'm calling him all lumped up bitch i'm calling him i'm sorry the look he won't even pick up for your ass it don't matter you need to go. Can I get my stuff? No. Go? No. You just want me to go like this? You go like that, bitch. You over here fucking on somebody's cousin. Okay. Stop, Pat. Stop. Chill out. You better text that nigga and tell him it's fucking over and that he has a wife still. Okay. He's not divorced or nothing, okay. JL. Okay, I'm chill out. Uber. Just going back to Lawrence. Why did you believe what he said? And you knew that he was married. Then you get where did you go to the emergency room for? I had health issues. What type of health issues? What do you have going on with you? You're just do you want to die? Why do you want to know? What are you talking about, bitch? I'm just beating you up. I'm pregnant. You okay, tried to swing okay. on me over my husband. I bitch. had health reasons, okay? Nobody's I playing with stomach you. Stomach pain. Uh, are you pain. pregnant? No, I'm okay. not Okay, you better not be, bitch, because that baby would die, too. How you gonna be in somebody? Where do you work, bitch? Do you not have a job? I do. I Why do. are you not at work? Where's your car? Don't tell me you let him drive your car. No. He doesn't I'm even have a license. Car. I said, do you let him drive your car? I don't have a car. You don't even have a car? I Uber. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trade back again. To hit you with another video. Now today is Thursday Thursday and to continue the legacy of Thursday Thursday we have another video and this video right here had to been edited very good using my expertise because I cannot show any sexual footage. I cannot show anything too horrific. I cannot show nobody fighting because I am not finna get my channel flagged or get my shit shut down trying to please nobody. Talking about Well other people show their videos you go over there and watch them other people beating videos and come back over here if you want to. But for us, the way this roll, we're not going to show the whole video. So just because you don't see the person getting hit upside the head with a gun, if you want to watch that, go to World Star and watch that, then come back and leave a comment. If not, whoop-de-doo. But anyway, we have a pregnant woman who decides to take 
the law in her own hands. And I don't know what the hell this woman was thinking. Why? Why, why, why? Like Johnny Gill used to say, my, my, my. Why do people, men and women, and children too, record themselves committing crimes? And what I mean by committing a crime, you cannot pistol whip nobody outside your damn house. The girl, the woman is outside of your home. How can you sit up here and beat this woman down on the porch? She better than me because you would have had to shoot me all in my ass and my back because I would have tried to take that gun. Because as you see, I'm not going to get no scars on my damn face. I've been living way too long. I've been through way too much to sit up here and let somebody put a damn scar across my face. You see what I'm saying? You're not going to give me a buck fifty like they said in New York. Now, we have a woman gets pistol whipped and held at gunpoint for hooking up with a married man. But the key word, hooking up with a married man, she is not married to the woman that is pistol whipping her from the way her voice sound and everything. That sounds like a rough woman. And, you know, I'm not up here to bash the pregnant woman, but what you did was totally wrong. You know what I'm saying? I can see you going to hem somebody up just to let them know you mean business. But the main person you should be hemming up and getting mad at is your husband, not this woman right here, because this woman is not committed to you. And then your dumb ass is going to sit up here and record it like you're really doing something. They need to throw your ass in the back of the jail and stuff. Then when you have the baby, let the baby out and let you sit in there just for about a week or two more because you got to get home and take care of your child, you know. But you can't get mad at this woman because uh uh she wasn't respecting your wedding vows. Now, you saw her in the house. You beat her ass in the house. Okay. You got outside. You're still hitting on this woman, still trying to chastise this woman, making a fool out of her. And this is what a lot of people do. See, when you're right, you're right. Now, you would have just hemmed up real quick in your home. You know what I'm saying? But also, the same thing you gave to this woman, you should have been giving that to your husband also because he the one really needed. He the one made a commitment to you, not this woman. Why do you females go and, 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 and hurt the person who your spouse is cheating on you with? How? I don't understand it. They're just like if I walk in a house and a, a guy is there with my woman, of course we're going to tear her down. But guess what? I'm not going to follow him outside. I'm not going to keep hitting him. I'm not going to pull no gun and pistol whip him. And I'm damn sure not going to record it. If anything, I'm going to go back in the house. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to put my hand on it because the first thing they're going to do is call the police on you. Because if she's already cheating on you and she got somebody else in the house, guess what? She don't have no respect for you. So she's really pretty much want you to put your hands on so your ass can go to jail. And it depends on however that go. Depends on the charge. But anyway, now, the best thing to do is to leave the person. But this is what a lot of people do these days. I don't understand that because you want to sit up here and get mad at somebody when she is not even the one in a committed relationship with you. And then you seen the pit bull sitting right there. Shit, I would have been scared of the pit bull too. I'm like, shit, I might can take a damn shot as long as you don't shoot me in my face in my wood area because you'll bleed out getting shot in the wood, believe it or not. But anyway, that big ass pit bull's a pretty dog though. I would have been scared the damn dog would have locked on my neck or something. So the female was terrified. This woman was terrified. A pretty woman at that. Probably more prettier than a pregnant woman. And then the husband... His trifling ass and stuff, knowing he married, you're going to bring a woman to your house. Why do you people, you got to do that sometimes to you. Why do you people bring folks to your house when you know you got somebody staying there with you, whether you're married or whether you just got a just got a live-in booty call buddy, you know what I'm saying, a cuddy buddy, whatever you want to call it. Why do you bring people to your house when you know you got some more wood there or some more cooking? And for some of you all, it goes both ways. But the hell with that. Why take somebody there? Why take that damn chance? And this is why you should you should first ask somebody, are you married? Are you seeing somebody? The next thing to ask, do y'all stay together? Because that would nip everything in the bud. You feel what I'm saying? But you don't sit up there and do nobody like that. And that goes to show you this husband, whoever his trifling doggish ass is, he don't care about the, this, this girl, this woman he's with, or his wife who's pregnant by him. He don't even care to stop cheating then. No, he brings another female into the house. He's not there. She must have been laid up in there asleep or something. The wife must have just walked in there and called him. And commits to whoop, whooping his chick ass. Like, who does that? I don't understand that. And the fact that you were recorded and put it on damn world star. I mean, how stupid can people get? We are living in an age where people are telling on themselves left and right. You all make the cops job so easy. They love you all. I don't understand what the hell is going on today. You don't have to sit up here and do no investigation. Rappers telling on themselves in a rap song, yeah, I went to the store, kicked in the door, 
shot dead. He was on the floor, kicked him two times, time to the dead. Kicked him two times in his ass, bust him in the head. Walked out the back door, left the track, left a backpack by the knapsack, all this shit. And next thing you know, the cop like, he was a knapsack by his back. Oh, it was a footprint out loud, outside by the back door. Get your ass in this car. People turn on themselves left and right. See, I come from a, a era, even though it ain't no new era like the new era hats, but I come from an era, we didn't do all that, what we call talent telling. It wasn't too many chatty patties. You see what I'm saying? Because we live by a cold, loose lips sink ships. You got to be quiet. So, sister, whoever you are, whoever you are, mm, Whoever you are, you must be a tough one. Because this is the first time I've seen somebody get their ass whooped outside the house when they got their ass whooped inside the house. Like, how are you going to whoop my butt inside the house, then going to whoop my ass on outside the house too, and then going to put it on camera? Boy, I'm telling you, I'll probably just run and jump off a damn bridge some damn well. Everybody will see me get hooled out. Now, the question is this right here. Was it really worth it? Because you can best believe law enforcement is going to get involved. Because number one, you got a gun. And what if that gun would have hit, went off when you hit this woman upside the head? What if it would have shot her, shot her in the shoulder? She would have bled out, hit her artery. What if you would have shot in the head when you tapping it like that? Would it all be worth it? It won't make it so bad. This woman did not give a damn. This woman, this female that she was beating up had about triple three may knots, like three may knots right here. And a may not, like I said before in my other videos, is a knot on your head or on your ass that may not ever go away. That's a may not. But anyway, so it wasn't good enough. You got a swole up right here. That's not going to go away. That's permanent right there. And all this over some damn penis, all this over some damn wood that been up in another girl cooking. Who wants that? That's just like guys and stuff. You with a woman and stuff. She round there giving that thing out, passing that ass out like government cheese. And then she gonna come home and try to get some of you. I don't want none of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? But, but, the person you get mad at is your spouse. You do not get mad at the outsider. True, you're going to have words. True, you might put them paws on them. That's far as it should go. Because guess what? What's, what's going to happen? You would take your ass to jail because she's not going to jail for being in your house because she didn't break in. She was let in by your husband. So what you should do is get mad at your husband. And then you seen the female, the side chick trying to call the husband. The husband coward ass when he didn't pick up the phone because he knows what's already going on. You see what I'm saying? But these how these guys do you all. And women too, they, they play the same game, but we talking about guys right now. This is how they do you all. Once they get them draws, all bets are off. No pause. You know what I'm saying? But ladies, you have to respect yourself. Don't take your ass over nobody's house. And this guy lied to this woman, basically told her that he wasn't even married no more and all this stuff. But you need to make sure, tell them, let me see the papers. And if it ain't been six months, depends on what state you're in, because sometimes you have to be uh, separated six months in order for your divorce to be finalized in certain states. Most of them like that. But you want to wait till it be finalized or y'all can go somewhere else. Now, if she bring your ass over there, baby or not, that's your ass. You're going to get hauled out. And that's what we say in Texas. In Texas, uh, when something get hauled out, that means you beat the brakes off of it. You feel what I'm saying? That's all it is. It's a way to do things. Like my dad used to say, it ain't what you do. It's how you do what you do. You see what I'm saying? Just like it ain't what you say. It's how you say what you say. So let this be a lesson to you all. Because this woman clearly went overboard. And I agree with the fact that you should make your presence felt. But the guy is the one dogging you out. This woman is not dogging you out. And you women, y'all need to remember this right here. What good is it going to do you? being in jail, being in prison and everything for hurting another chick, for hurting another female, just for this man to be out here still giving up community wood, still giving it up. And for you guys, the same thing that hurt and go kill other guys for hooking up with your ex or your wife or whatever, when you're going to be in prison and she's still going to be busting that thing wide open. Think about that. Think about that. Control your emotions. You will live long enough. But at the same time, pick better people. Pick better people. That's all you have to do. Now, let me know what you all think about this video because it's a damn shame. Those knots is not going away. So this woman is scarred for life all over a damn guy. And then you hear the woman talking about, do you have a job? I wouldn't have said shit to her. Like I said, I'm not finna sit there and take no ass whooping, number one. Me and a dog would be fighting and be fighting the, the, the person with the gun. That's all. That's how that would have went down. You feel what I'm saying? Let me know what you all think. Got to make better decisions in 2019 because people are not playing no more. They ain't taking no more L's. Let me know what you think. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share this video with your family and friends that's known to creep around and go mess with these married men. You people 
stop messing with these married men. You feel what I'm saying? Because we all, mm, we all got somebody, at least one person, male or female, that mess with somebody married and we know about it. Hell, I do also and I do not like that shit. Leave married people alone. Sim simple as that. Now, if you're going to get a divorce and you separate it, that's different. You do that and then we'll get busy. You, you feel what I'm saying? But not till then. Anyway, y'all have a blessed day. Take care of yourselves and watch your back. And if you is going to do it anyway, if you're going to creep like TLC say, make sure, make sure you got your will made out. I'm out.